your front porch need a little refresh well stay tuned because i'm going to show you how you can do it on a budget channel so happy and excited to have you here today and guys in today's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a really quick and easy refresh on my front porch by changing my doormat and I'm going to be doing that really easy on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies and I'm also going to customize my doormat using my Cricut and I want to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video I hope that you like and enjoy today's video so let's start it let's DIY together for today's project, I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker 3 Easy Smart Cutting Machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials and it works with a software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts and once you have created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut and I promise you it's super easy easy to use and I'm going to show you how you can make a custom doormat super easy and quick and first I went to Dollar Tree because I have to grab my rug or my mat they have so many to choose from and this way your project is going to be super on a budget once I have my rug I have to measure the rug to know what size I need to make my decal and my decal has to be about 12 by 20 inches long so I'm going to be working keeping that on mind now I want to write the text I'm going to write the and I'm going to customize the font and the size and I like to do copy and paste so many times um, that way I can keep the same font and the same size in the rest of the words that I'm going to be writing I write established in 2012 and I'm going to move in work with that on my design space so I can put everything where it has to go and now I'm going to write the word variety that's our family last name so I write that but I change the font to a different one and that's the fun thing about design space is that you have so many cool options that you can work to make your design really cool and different once I have that I'm going to make a frame on these um, and it's going to add a really nice touch you can maybe insert an image flowers or maybe pumpkins depending on the season I'm just going to be doing a simple frame on this and and that way I'm going to keep my design for the doormat very neutral and it's going to work all year round and to be able to make my frame I just insert some lines and adjust the size of them to be able to make this frame and it looks so cool and it was so simple and easy to make and then I just select everything and press the weld button so that way when I cut this with my Cricut Maker 3 it's going to cut all in just one piece I'm going to cut these without a mat because I'm going to be using some smart materials I'm going to be using permanent smart vinyl so I have to select the material that I'm going to be using on my design space and I'm going to insert the vinyl that I'm going to be using you can use any color for this I'm going to be using a black one this smart vinyl is going to work perfect for this project it's going to stick really well on my mat but you can also use a stencil material for this project my Cricut machine is going to cut these decal so 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 fast and then I'm going to be removing all of the vinyl that I don't need from my decal and then I'm going to be using some transfer tape and I'm going to put that on top once I have that part ready I just have to put this on top of my mat or my rug and I'm going to carefully remove the transfer tape that way my decal is going to work as a stencil and now you can have fun with these you can use any paint color to paint your letters I'm going to be using white I want these to really pop out and I think white is a, is a very neutral color that is going to work perfect with the gray doormat that I have like I said you can use any color to customize your mat and that you think is going to match with your front porch or depending on the season I paint this using a sponge I think it's the easiest way and once it was dry I can remove my stencil and this is how this first part of today's video turns out I love how it looks and it was so easy and fun to make now let's work on the bigger rock that it goes on the bottom of this doormat I went to Dollar Tree and I found this long blue rug and I thought that it could look super cool if I get three of these and I put them together to make a big rock 
to put under the doormat so that's what I did I get three of these rocks and I'm going to be sticking them together using hot glue and duct tape and that way it's going to work just fine trust me I have done this before put them outside and they work amazing so you can try that and once I put these together I, de I decide to work on the stencil that I want to make for this rug so I went to my Cricut Designs page and I'm going to insert an image and I search for the word welcome. You can find so many pictures and things already done on your Cricut Designs page. That's one of the things that I love about Cricut Designs page. It's going to make your life so much easier um, when you have to design something. Once I insert my image, I'm going to adjust um, the size and then I'm going to cut this with my Cricut Maker 3. I'm also going to be using some smart black vinyl my Cricut is going to cut it super fast and then I'm going to be removing the vinyl that I don't need. I'm going to add a transfer tape on top. I'm going to transfer these on my rug and then I'm going to carefully remove the transfer tape. I'm going to be using the same color. I want to make all of these super neutral. So I paint my welcome word in white color. And once the paint is dry, I'm going to remove the stencil. Now, if you want, maybe you can add a some kind of design on this rug. This is going to be under the doormat that says the Varela family. So I want to be creative and I use a marker and I'm going to use paint and with the pointy part of the marker, I basically start making so many dots on my rug and it works just fine. And it was so easy to make. You maybe can do this with a stencil too. You can use some stencils in a flower shape or maybe lemons for summer or pumpkins for the fall season. I don't know, maybe for Christmas, um, some Christmas tree, you can be so creative with these and using your Cricut that is going to be so much easier and so much fun. Once I'm done with my rock, I'm going to let it dry and then you can start decorating your front porch. I'm going to put my rock first, then my doormat. On one side, I'm going to put this home sign that I actually did with my Cricut. I add some flowers on the crate and on the side, I'm going to be putting a planter and a lantern. On the other side, I decide to put a huge plant, buckets with flowers and a lantern. On my door, I'm going to hang this huge wreath that I have in very neutral colors, perfect for any season. And this is how my front porch turns out and I really like it. I'm so happy and excited. And of course, I love the doormat and the rug that I made. And I think it's a beautiful and easy way to welcome people to your home. And you can do that with your Cricut. I hope that you like and that you enjoy today's video again thank you so much to Krika for sponsoring today's video if you like this video please give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support my channel let me know in the comments what you have done with your Cricut machine I'm so excited to read your comments and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel follow me on all my social media pages all of the links are in the description box as well as my Krika.com link love you guys so much and see you in the next video Mwah. bye